All right, Mike, if things play true to form tonight, uh, quite honestly, I think we might see a blowout. La Lumiere lost their fifth game of the season last night, three and five. They were came into this tournament ranked number 19 in the country, um, but uh, they've traveled a lot. And that may be part of their problem, but they really um, have, have struggled last night especially. Montverde Academy now 16-0, and 0, playing some of the toughest competition in the country. They beat IMG Academy, they beat Sunrise Christian Academy already this year, beat Wasatch Academy bad, and then last night beat Arizona Compass. There's the tip, Montverde controls, and Ryan Nimhard right away takes control of the offense. Jalen Duren out front, Tariq Whitehead, and there's Caleb Houston. First time he's touched the ball, inside to Duren. Duren backs his player down, nice little hook, unable to convert, falls a little short. And La Lumiere comes away with the rebound. Jeremy Fears, the point guard, and right away, there's J.J. Starling, and he hits the three. That's what he did last night. Again, six of 11 from behind the arc last night. Montverde started slow last night. Found themselves down 11 to three before rallying before the end of the first quarter. Duran again inside, again he's short. Those shots will start to fall before this game's over with. He's getting good looks, creating nice shots for himself, just coming up a little short. Nimhard on Fears. Fears drives inside, dishes back outside to Triton Thompson. Thompson with the air ball, rebounded by Langston Love. Love up ahead, Caleb Houston in the corner. That's Whitehead. Whitehead, no. Duren with the rebound, however, and he's fouled on the putback attempt. Iwu Chukwu fouls Duran, and Duran will go to the line to shoot two. First free throw off the mark. Montverde, a minute and a half into this game, has yet to score. Find themselves down three nothing early. Second free throw from Duren. That's good. And he puts the Eagles on the board. Fears, as always, not, not afraid to go inside. Out front to J.J. Starling now. Starling will drive, does a nice job of it, and off the what a great drive, great shot. Teardrop from about eight feet away. That's probably ill-advised, but it uh, didn't do bad when it went in. No, he, he, that guy's got a lot of talent. He showed it last night with 26 points. Nimhard with the dish to Whitehead. Whitehead tries to force it inside to Duren, stolen away by La Lumiere, and I can tell you right now, they're playing a lot better than they did last night. Bird again finds himself down early, five to one. Whitehead in the corner, back out front to Caleb Houston. Andrew Nimhard now drives inside, did a lot of that last night. However, he converted last night, misses the layup, rebound, put back attempt, no good. Another setback, no good. Trenton Thompson unable to put it in from just a couple of feet away. Andrew Nimhard again drives inside, Langston Love outside. Now Caleb Houston for three, no. Off the back of the rim, Montverde starts this game ice cold. Thompson now outside. Iwuchukwu over to Starling. Thompson in the corner to Fears. Fears trapped over there, gets it out to Iwuchukwu, who throws it up from three and nails it. The seventh footer from the top of the key nails a three. Their 6'11 player, Thompson, shoots an air ball three, and then their seven footer <laughs> hits his three. Nimhard goes inside, teardrop, laid off the glass, 
put in by Durant. Durant. Yeah. Whoa. Jalen Duran with the first basket for Montbird. They try and trail eight to three. Almost halfway through this first quarter, Montbird gets their first bucket. Inside, stolen Good away by Langston there. Love. Love drives in, lays it in. Nice job on both ends of the floor by Langston Love. Mighty good move. Akpara gives it off to Starling. Wide open Iwuchukwu. It was late in the fourth quarter before he scored last night, but he gets that easy dunk right there off the dish from Starling. Coach Boyle not happy with his defense right there. Doolin, not a good shot. Off the mark, rebounded by Thompson. Gets it off to Akpara. Akpara covered out front by Whitehead. Now stolen away by Nimhard. Montbird has numbers. They give it to Doolin, no good. But he'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. Not the best shot you could have gotten. Amont Bird was on a 4-2 break, and that was not the best shot that was available. But uh, I Doolin, agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Doolin's going to go to the line. His free throw is good. Few teams can take their seven footer out and replace it with a seven two <laughs> at any level. <laughs> at any level, exactly. Well, Lumiere just did that. Yeah. Rocco Muratori checks in. Doolin hits both free throws. Pulls Montbird back to within three. They have not started either of these games here in this tournament well here in their own floor. Para gives it back to Fears, and Fears is going to bring it across the midcourt line. Oh, what a pick there by Moratori. They say he was moving. Tough call from the official right there is Moratori. I thought it set a pretty nice pick, Mike. Montbird with the turnover as a result of the foul. Langston Love inside again, same shot, same result. Nice bucket. That's two nice reverse layups when uh, a lot of tall hands trying to knock it away. Langston Love, of course, had 18 points last night, so he's not as not adverse to scoring, that's for sure. Fears now, Starling again. Back out to Thompson, back to Fears, looking for Muratori down low. Bad pass inside, results in a turnover. Thompson throws it out of bounds. 2.09 to play, Montbird down 10-9. Love pulls up for three and he nails it. Seven points early for Langston Love tonight, and Montbird takes their first lead of the game up 12-10. Coach Boyle directing the defense. Akpara in trouble, probably traveled, no call. Caleb Houston drives the lane and he's fouled. Caleb Houston's gonna to go to the free throw line shooting two. Fouled, I think, by J.J. Starling. That's his first. Caleb Houston has yet to score in this game after putting 21 on the board last night. Chance to put it on the board from the free throw line, and he's good.
second free throw. Good as well, as you would expect from the number seven recruit in the country. Yeah, he really looks good. Smooth ball player. Pierce off to Akpar, up front to Thompson. Back to Fears. Out front, three-point attempt. From Njai. Njai no good. Rebounded by Montford. In the corner to Houston. Out front now. As Shafino directs the point. Malik Renault. And there's Houston, 4-3. Good looking shot, just off the mark. Houston, however, takes the tip, gets his own rebound. Back over to Shafino, who resets the offense. Renault over to Shafino. Shafino trying to get the ball inside, can't do it. Now he drives, and in yeah. so doing, he travels. Traveling. Good call from the official. Turnover by Montverde. They find themselves up four with 21.4 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Again, they started slow, but they seem to have righted the ship here to take this lead. Here's struggling in the backcourt. Justice Williams playing good defense. Shafino on fears out front to Iwuchuklu. Thompson, Akpara. Inside to Iwuchuklu, tries to go inside, can't do it. Blocked nicely there by Malik Renault. Big block from the seven footer. And Montford ends the first quarter, finding themselves up 14 to 10. Right? Good first quarter from Langston Love with seven points. Andrew Nimhard spent the better part of the second half of that quarter on the bench. We'll see what Coach Bull does here to start the second quarter. J.J. Starling and Iwuchukwu both with five apiece. For La Lumiere, the only two players to put any points on the board thus far tonight. I can't, I can hardly hear it, but it might be because of this. Uh, yeah, I can hardly hear it, but it's funny. I don't think you guys can hear it. I'll just, yeah, I'll just play it. Those are like pretty small, so you can hardly hear it. La Lumiere will start the quarter with the ball down four. Akpara scheduled to inbound. And that's what he does to, to Fears. Fears across the midcourt line, back to Akara. Akara out front to Iwuchiku, who's already hit one from out there. Struggled to get rid of it, found Akara. Now stolen away by Caleb Houston. Good job of fronting his man on defense. Trayton Thompson, um, no match for Caleb Houston inside. Oh, Love pulled up for three, changed his mind, dished it off. Almost. That's going to stay. Yep. Now, this lob pass down here wasn't anywhere near far <laughs> enough. No. Easily intercepted by the frontal guy. Here come our first half. Step. This hardest working man in the gym right here. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Shafino, I, I'm, I'm not sure if uh, I didn't see Nimhard get injured, but I'm looking over there. I don't even, I guess he is behind the bench here behind Coach Boyle, but uh, interesting. I think he played darn near 30 minutes last night out of the 36 minutes. And tonight, he spent a lot of time on the floor. Shafino for three, no good. Hot bird, very cold from the outside. Yeah, they sure are. Starling 
Nice little run and jumper, no good. Rebounded by Thompson, tries to go back up, and Houston steals it away. Love for three, no, off the front of the rim. Again, Montbird really not shooting the ball well. Oh, there's a nice, good looking block there by Justice Williams. Foul called. That's going to send Fears to the line to shoot two. Off the front of the rim, no good. Hotbird was five of six in that first quarter from the free throw line. La Lumiere did not get an opportunity from the charity strike. As we talked about, Montverde was four for 11, only one for four from the three-point line. They've missed their first two here in the second quarter. La Lumiere, on the other hand, 50% from behind the arc. Both teams with six total rebounds. Second free throw is good. Montverde now with the ball. Pretty much has their second string in there. The exception of the two big man starters down low. In the corner to Whitehead. Whitehead fakes the three, drives. Now turnaround jumper, that's no good. Rebound by Malik Renault. Renault throws it away. Stolen away by Fears. Fears goes inside, blocked by Duran. Blocked again by Justice Williams, but again he's going to be called for the foul. Came from behind. There's not a shot inside of it and contested. No, uh, no, uh, and, and Montverde really struggling from the floor. That free throw is good for Akpara. Akpara last night had 13. That's his first point tonight. Second free throw, right through. And we've got a one point game here. Montverde up 14 13. Six minutes to play in the second quarter. Whitehead out front. And there's a three from Justice Williams. Nice bucket. Big three there. All three. Might get Montverde off the schneid. Akpara now. Chuku out front. Starling, who hit his initial three and, and hasn't uh, scored since. Akpara for three, no, off the rim, rebounded by Williams. Williams brings it down the floor. Leno, around the boom. Inside, that's Duran. Duran, nice drive, nice layup. Double team, got it up and in anyway. And the coach for La Lumiere, Patrick Holmes has seen enough. Very good move inside, real strong. Very strong move on a double team. Just split it, laid it in. Biggest lead for Montverde now at six. And uh, Coach Holmes wants to talk to his players and he's gonna do just that. Doesn't want his game to get away from him in the first half, I'm pretty sure is what he's thinking right now. Lot Bird with the five point run right there. And uh, it looks like they're starting to maybe heat it up. Look at the roster for Mont Bird, Mike. Newark, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Ontario, Canada, Orlando, Philadelphia, San Antonio, Arlington, Texas, Visagua, Canada, Miami, Florida, Pittsburgh, Orlando, New Orleans, all over the country to come here to uh, Lake County to play basketball. Nationwide, you yeah. can see that. Yeah, as, a, as a native of this county, I, I, a lot of people that were born and raised here would find it comical that somebody would choose to come here. <laughs> well, 
one thing we talked about last night is it's not just the basketball here at Montbert Academy. Their academic program and their theater and arts program, their television and, and production program, I mean, they're, they're one of the best academic schools in the country in addition to being the number one basketball program for the decade of 2010 through 2020. So this school offers a lot of reasons for someone to want to come here and obtain an education. Spears across the timeline, guarded by Williams. Akara out front. So again, we've seen Caleb Houston and Andrew Nimhart spend a lot of time on the bench tonight when they did not last night. Starling tries to go inside with a reverse layup. Can't get it to fall. Nice move. Just off the rim, heck of a move. Very quick, Starling, great shot. Renault goes inside, left hand lays it in. Nice job by Renault. And uh, Coach Boyle's bench players are uh, filling the void here tonight. Great job shutting down Starling tonight. Fears, nice move in the line. Misses the shot, rebound by Whitehead. Whitehead looks to go inside. From the elbow, takes the shot, knocks it down. Nine straight now for Montverde. They take a 10-point lead. Oh, there's a block by Duran. Wow. He was way up there to knock that one off the glass. Fears from the corner for three, knocks it down. Nice shot. Takes a look at uh, Williams, lets him know about it. Very proud of that shot. <laughs> Duran, 12 footer. Ill advised shot right there. Off the I quick agree, the yeah. Shot clock. yeah. Not a good shot. That's not what you want there. 23 uh, 16, and now Whitehead commits a silly foul in the front court, 30 feet away from the basket. Now we see Nimhart. Yeah, here's Houston. Nimhart. Yeah. Back on the floor for Mont Bird. Let's see how they respond. They made a nice run with both those players on the bench, quite honestly. So Fears, guarded now by Nimhart. Iwuchuku tries to set a pick, misses it. Starling now on, guarded by Nimhard. Nimhard with a foul, silly foul by Nimhard. Lazy feet right there. Trying to play over the top of that screen and just bumped right into the ball handler. Yep, yep. Muratori checks back in. Seven foot two center for La Lumiere. Guarded by Jalen Duran. Para inbounds. Njai now fears up top. Here's off to Njai. Njai guarded by Caleb Houston. Starling now out front. He's guarded by Shafino. And he's yeah, just fine move. Guarded all the way. Blows by Shafino, lays it in off the glass. And now, suddenly, La Lumiere back to within five. Down by 10, just a moment ago, they go on their own little 5-0 run. Fino in the corner. Off to Houston, Houston for three. Boy, he is right on target, Mike, just a little bit long right now. Looked good when it left his hand. Lumiere with the ball down five, a chance to cut into that lead again. Ref letting them play right there. Starling 
Pulls up for three. Wow. Contested. Shafino in his face. Starling drops it in. 7-0 run now for La Lumiere. 8-0 run for La Lumiere. And they're within two after trailing 23-13, 23-21. Montverde. Nimhard drives. And he's fouled on the block on his way in prior to the shot. 110 to play in the half, and uh, La Lumiere's in this game. I'm, I gotta tell you, I'm a little shocked. I really expected Montverde to uh, come out and open up a big lead here in the first half. Credit Coach Holmes on uh, getting his team ready to play after really getting blown off the floor last night. Nimhard to Houston. Houston drives inside, Langston Love. Back outside to Whitehead, Nimhard again. Nimhard looking to drive again. Teardrop in the lane, no good. Nimhard gets his own rebound. Whitehead loses the ball as he tries to drive inside. However, Durin comes up with it. Back out front to Langston Love for three. No, off the front of the rim. And Montverde continues to struggle with the shot. However, they continue to get offensive rebounds. 20 seconds on the shot clock, 26 seconds to go in the game. First half. That's a wide open three for Whitehead. It's a deep one, but he misses again. And now La Lumiere with a chance for a final shot and to tie the game or take the lead here right before halftime. My guess is it's going to Starling and there it is. Starling's got the ball now with about three to go. Gets a wide open three. Air ball, no good. Very, very uh, weak performance offensively for Montverde in that first half. Only 23 points. They lead by two, just as they did last night. La Lumiere seems to be very happy with their performance in the first half. Coach Boyle not happy with the officials, Mike. Yeah, I'll say him. He's out there visiting with them right now on the way to the dressing room. Yeah, and that's not a friendly visit. That's not somebody coming over for a, a, a cocktail, is it? <laughs> it's halftime here at the Montverde Academy Invitational Tournament. We're live on Baller TV. We'll be back with the second half in just a few minutes. Welcome back to Montverde Academy here in Lake County, Florida. Halftime almost over here. La Lumiere really uh, surprised Montverde. Down only two, 23-21 in a very low scoring first half. And if you want to find out why, Montverde only scored 23 points in the first half, Mike. All you got to do is look at the stat sheet. Eight for 25 in field goals, less than 33%. Two for 10 behind the arc, 20%. And Caleb Houston, who had 21 points last night, is 0 for 4 from the field and 0 for 3 from behind the arc. Two for 2 from the free throw line. He only has two points after scoring 21 last night. J.J. Starling put up 26 last night for this La Lumiere school tonight. He's the only player on the floor in double digits with 10 points. He is four for seven, two for three from behind the arc. La Lumiere, Mike, is four for eight from behind the arc, 50%. That's the difference between a 10-point lead for Montverde and a two-point lead for Montverde right there. La Lumiere has done a great job defending the three tonight. Montbird has 15 rebounds. Alumier has 13. Another thing, Montbird shot six free throws in the first quarter. They did not shoot any free throws in the second quarter. Alumier is three for four from the free throw line. Montbird Academy is five for six. I have a feeling that uh, there was some paint peeling going on in the uh, Montverde locker room at halftime. Coach Boyle was not happy when he left the floor. And I'm sure that his team heard some, uh, they, they were in there a long time, Mike. La Lumiere came out a good two or three minutes before Montverde did. I'm gonna have to give Lou, La Lumiere a little credit with their defense. They're not letting much happen down the, in the post with their tall players. Yeah, I can't disagree with that. And, and I mean, Montverde's had some open looks from behind the arc. They just haven't fallen. I mean, they're a much better shooting team than what they've showed here tonight. 
And uh, a lot of that credit, as you said, goes to the defense of the Warriors. Yeah. about to start. I think Mont Bird will get the ball to start the second half. Ryan Nimhard, Whitehead, Love, and Doolin on the floor for Montbird. Fears, Thompson, Okara, Iwuchukwu, and Starling on the floor to start the second half. Lumiere. Nimhard leads the offense, gives it off to Doolin, Doolin to Love. Houston, as we said, who really struggled in that first half. I'm sure he's hoping to get off the snide here. And he takes a, a three to start the second half and he starts where he left off. He's, he misses a three. He's now 0 for 4 from behind the arc. Four for eight last night was Houston. Fears inside, doesn't get the roll. Doolin with the rebound. Love quickly brings it up the floor. A little bit of pep in the step from La Lumiere tonight. Doolin with a nice spin move inside, lays it in. Beautiful move. Real good Doolin. move, very strong. Up over that seven footer defending him. Got Akporo on his back. Made the move to the inside, laid it in. Best move of the night from Doolin. Akpar now on the wing. Guarded by Whitehead. It's a pick from Iwuchuku. Whitehead comes through it. Iwuchuku out front. Three seconds on the shot clock, Starling. Oh my, what a beautiful three from Starling. That kid has ice in his veins. No time on the shot clock. He lets it go on the run and it falls. Woo, La Lumiere within one. <laughs> Love at the free throw line with a jumper and knocks it down. Nice turnaround jumper on the move. Starling now with 13 points in the game. Stolen by Houston. Maybe this will get him going, Mike. Slams it home. A timeout called by Holmes. Great steal from Houston. I think that was a technical foul, wasn't it? Sure was. They called a tech on Coach Holmes. Not happy. Thought his player was fouled by Houston on that steal. Houston makes the first one. Probably not a wise move on Coach Holmes right there. His team was already fired up. If you're trying to fire him up, they were already there. Now he's opened up what was a three-point lead, now is a seven-point lead. And Montverde gets the ball back. Nimhard surveys the D, gets it off to Houston. Now Love, Doolin inside, double team. Knocked out of bounds nicely by Akpara. Doolin tried to throw it out of the double team, but probably should have gone the other way as opposed to across the court. Never a good idea to throw the ball across the court. Doolin up front, Nimhard loses it off the dribble, kicked out of bounds by La Lumiere. 
Montbird will throw it inbounds from underneath their own basket. Let's One see if second. they can get a shot off here for yeah. the second on shot clock, and he did. Oh, almost knocks it down. Rebound, however, by Love to Doolin, back to Nimhart, out front to Houston. And there it is. Houston knocks down his first three. I, I told you, Mike, <laughs> that slam dunk was going to wake him up, and it did. Houston has now scored the last eight points of this game. That ball's knocked away by Houston again. Leading the break, Love inside, Love can't lay it in. Doolin, however, fights for the rebound. Down on the floor, we've got a jump ball. I believe that's gonna, oh, a little testy down there. Oh, we've got somebody injured for uh, La Lumiere. They got, it looks like they might have, might have a technical foul on one of the players. That's it, that's Iwu Chukwu down on the floor. Montbird coaching staff out on the floor to uh, make sure that their players get back to the bench where they belong while Iwuchukwu is tended to on the floor. The big man is up, walking out on his own power. It's a good sign, a little bit of a limp. 34-24, Montbird up by 10 after that flurry from Caleb Houston who was almost silent in the first half, suddenly demands to be heard here in the second. Neither one of these coaches appear to be happy with the officiating, Mike, but are they ever? Never. <laughs> Never. And uh, I was trying to figure out what was going on. Of course, the lead official was over there explaining something to the official score, and it, I couldn't. The, he pointed both ways, so I'm not sure that it wasn't. Double tech? Uh, perhaps. Yeah, maybe it was a double tech on both players. Now, it doesn't look like they're going to shoot anything. It no. looks like they're going to take it out of bounds down here. Yeah, which is which was the call right. as La Lumiere kicked it out of bounds. So I think you're right. I think you're exactly right. Coach Bull is not happy about it, but we got a double technical on the floor. I'm not sure what two players they called that technical on, but La Lumiere seems to think they have the ball. Yeah, that they that's the official recognized that and they put them. Looks like we got one more Montbird player needs attending to. Montbird is going to take possession on a jump ball here, so it is their possession. Looks like Montbird's going to open up here with a full court press for the first time here tonight. They tried to press Arizona Compass last night, and Arizona Compass just broke it. They pulled out of that press pretty quick. Ty Ty Washington was going to have none of that press. So still trying to sort things out between the officials and the coaches. And La Lumiere with the ball down 10. Almost a 10 second call. Fears goes inside, locked nicely at the rim by Caleb Houston who has really stepped up the game here in the second half. Whitehead goes inside, comes up short. Doolin with another jump ball, this time Big Ben Muratori on the back. That jump ball belongs to Montbird. Got to give that man credit. He ain't afraid to mix it up, is he? No. And you know, at 7 2, he's, he's rather nimble, too. His yeah. skills aren't there yet, but no. uh, he moves around pretty good. Yeah, his, his hands are a little weak. He's a work on I'll agree hands. with that, yeah. yeah. So Doolin will bring the ball in for Montbird underneath his own basket. Finds Love, now to Houston. Houston guarded by Thompson. Now we've got a foul going the other way, I think, on Nimhard. Yep. I think he's gone for a block when he's trying to set a pick. Yeah, the illegal screen. He was moving and pushed into the defender. So Montbird hangs on to that 10-point lead. We're halfway through the third quarter almost. Two-point lead has grown by eight here in this quarter as Caleb Houston has woken up. Muratori, why is he 30 feet from the basket? I do not know, but that's why I'm announcing and not coaching. And Nimhard with the steal. 
fakes the layup off to Houston, and Houston for three. He's got ten in this quarter after having halftime. He had two. He's up to 12 for the game, and Montbird's up by 13 points. And Caleb Houston, we talked about it. I mean, his first half was uh, the worst he's probably had all year, and he's making up for it here in the third quarter. Woo! That's a pretty shot, too. Man. I mean, it, it just tickles the twine when it goes through, man. I like seeing Nemhard take it down the middle and uh, realize they didn't have anything to kick it out to the corner. And then, of course, when they complete that jump shot, it really makes it look good. Very good decision. Excellent point. Nemhard making the right calls. Nimhard goes to the bench, going to be replaced by Shafino. We've got Love, Whitehead, Doolin, and Caleb Houston on the floor for the Montverde Academy. And we've got Starling, Fears, Thompson, Moratori, and Ocaro, Ocaro on the floor for La Lumiere. sure what the delay is all about. Starling gets it in to Fears. And Fears gets it across the timeline. Guarded out front by Love. Gives it to Akpara. Akpara guarded by Whitehead. Now to Starling. And we've got... He just called a technical foul on Boyle. Sure did. So both coaches now with technical fouls. Starlings are going to go to the line and shoot two. Boyle, Boyle seems amused by the call. I agree. <laughs> you know, he, had, he was a whole step out onto the court. I yeah. don't know if that's what it was all about because <laughs> all he, his team was playing defense. Yeah. No one any fouls. First free throw is good from Starling. <laughs> oh, Lord, I tell you. <laughs> Never a dull moment at the Montverde Academy Invitational Tournament on Baller TV. Starling hits both free throws, cuts the lead now down to 11 from 13. And La Lumiere will get the ball back mid-court. Fears set to bring it in. Almost stolen there by Whitehead. Instead, Akpara goes inside. No good, but Iwuchukwu with the tip in. He's yeah, had a much better up. game, much good better game tonight than he had last night. He's a highly ranked recruit in next year's class, and tonight I'm starting to see why. Last night, I was confused. Whitehead on the perimeter over to Houston. Back to Love. Love with a nice spin move in the what lane. A good and a nice spin, move. yeah. Ooh. Under control. Yeah, that, that's, that's a great move by a good basketball player. I'll say. Right there. Starling pulls up for three, short this time. Not afraid to shoot it. Love again goes inside. This time he dishes back out. Whitehead fakes the three, Love back in the corner, and Love hits the corner three. Five straight points for Love, and Montbert Academy starting to open up a lead here, 42-28. Wow, nice little series there from Love. Nice spin move for two, and a beautiful shot from the corner for three. Starling, teardrop in the lane, gets the bucket, oh. and he's fouled. Little floater, that, that was really a good shot. Pretty, pretty shot. Especially because it went in. Yeah. <laughs> pretty shot from a very pretty basketball player. He really is very smooth. Can get his shot off at any given time. Somebody in his face doesn't matter. Missed the last one, kind of a shot. Starting at the line. 
Tries to complete the three-point play, and he does just that. Houston inbounds to Shafino. Shafino across the timeline in the corner is Williams. Doesn't find him. Love out front. Caleb Houston wide open for three. In oh. and out. No good. And we've got a foul called. Not sure where that one now came that's, from. Now that's that's very interesting. That <laughs> defender number three was inside. Right. And they called a foul on him. Oh, really a unique call there. Yeah. Well, they give it to Doolin. Now to Williams. Back inside to Doolin. Doolin with a spin move. He's short again. Oh, his good own follow. Puts it in and it falls. And Doolin will go to the line. Great hustle there from Doolin. Wow. His first shot, the little jump hook, looked good, and then it hit the front of the rim, and he followed up and was able to pack it in. Yep. We talked a lot last night about getting rewarded for offensive rebounds, and that's exactly what happened right there. Duran just missed his first shot, went after it, re recovered it, put it back in, and he's at the free throw line. It's, it's nice to see effort get rewarded. <laughs> Free throw bangs off the back of the rim. Wow. That wasn't pretty. That looked like a slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> Montbird up by 13 with a minute and a half to play here in the third quarter. Thompson out front, guarded by Houston. Almost threw that one away. Tears now with the ball, and we've got an illegal pick. This time called on Trenton Thompson. Trayton Thompson. Thompson second. Williams now. Up front for Shafino. Shafino gives it to Love. Love penetrates inside the free throw line. Misses that little foot back. But hey! Duran is there with another offensive rebound and then a schmackums as he throws it down. And he's going to go to the free throw line. That was over the 7 2 player. Woo! That's as good as you want to see right there, Bruce. <laughs> I mean, he was quick. Got that rebound and was quick off the floor with the dunk and the foul. Woo! Very quick. And he knocks the free throw down this time, Mike. A little better with that free throw. Definitely <laughs> better effort. 47-31 now, Montbird with their largest lead up by 16. Darling, short, and that stays. Thought Shafino had a chance to save that, let it go, and it was off his own guy. 50 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Montbird up by 16. Murren comes into place. Houston going to give him a little break here right before the fourth quarter, get him an extended rest because Houston was just impressive in that third quarter. Akpara travels in the lane, no call, gets a nice roll. Wow, that, was, that wasn't even a shot. It was kind of a <laughs> loose ball that found the rim and went in. Now, Renault in the game. Now we're going to stay here as Moratori is going to be called for the foul. Second foul on his third foul, second foul in a row on Duran. Got a timeout, Montverde. Yeah, he's going to talk about it. They're going to take the last shot here to end this quarter, 19.3. And they certainly turned that two-point lead into a 14-point lead and uh, largely responsible due to Caleb Houston. And Duran. Duran had some really nice offensive putbacks in that quarter as well. Two players who stepped up their game here in the second half.
Rebounded to Love. Love out front to Williams. As they set and wait for that last shot to give it to Love. Love, probably the best penetrator. And there he goes inside. And he's fouled. Trayton Thompson, excellent job by Love. Drew, drew the defense, drew the foul. He's going to go to the line, shoot two. Good play call there by Coach Bull coming out of that timeout, Mike. Yeah, I agree. But that's that's today's basketball. It just looked like the defender was standing still, straight up and down. Love tucked the ball under his arm and went down the middle, looking like he was trying to get a first down. <laughs> they called a yep. foul on the defense, and he's converted the first one. Second free throw good as well. 4.7 seconds, La Lumiere with an opportunity to get a shot off. Oh! That's Ill interesting. Yep, ill-advised defense there by Michael, by, by Love. Fouled him on the shot and he's gonna get three free throws. Yeah, Coach Boyle not happy with Justice Williams right there. That's not, not a smart play. Well, well I don't understand this. They, they call it a technical or an intentional? Or what, uh, I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, uh, you'll have to tell me. Yeah. I don't know. All I know is that uh, that's Starling. No, that's Fierce. He makes his free throws, two of them. If he was fouled in the act of shooting, he was behind the three-point line. It would have Should've been got... three, yes. yeah. So he, they, I guess, uh, or it appears that they just said it was an intentional foul. Cleared the lane. I don't know, Coach Bull not happy. 14-point lead, 2.3 seconds. La Lumiere can uh, really. Oh my god. That goodness. goes. Chukwu did a good job. He turned him. Yeah, he did a great job of making that catch. Am I even getting his shot off? And he almost made it. <laughs> well, that's the end of the third quarter here. Montbert Academy 49 35. They outscored La Lumiere by 12 in that quarter. Got a 14 point lead going into the fourth here in the third game of the second day. We'll be back next Thursday, by the way, on Baller TV with three more games from the Montbert Academy Invitational Tournament next week. Looking forward to that opportunity to once again return to this beautiful gym and this beautiful academy and call three more great basketball games next week for you, our viewers, on Baller TV. Interesting to see the third quarter stats, Mike. When you get them. Yeah, the uh, home team got a little more aggressive yeah. offensively. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure they shot a little better that quarter. And uh, I know well, Caleb they ended up with 25 did. points that period. I think Caleb Houston did. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe 26. I think it was 23, 21 at the half. They got 26 points in that quarter. Yeah, that's a 100-point pace right there. So Akpara set to bring it in, gives it to Fears. So La Lumiere with the ball. Start the fourth quarter, down by 14. Nice dish inside to Thompson. Doolin commits the foul on the floor. Got Doolin in the air. Waited for him to come down, because once you go up, you got to come down. They got the foul, but he wasn't in the act, so they're taking it out of bounds. Never got a chance to shoot Doolin. Kind of covered him up. Yeah. So now we've got Akpara running the point for the Lakers. Guarded by Shafino. Dishes it to Uwuchiku, who misses an inside shot. That's more like the way he played last night right there. He should have taken that one down. Ooh, and he tried beautiful to, dish from Akpara. And it Uwe was Chico. indeed, yeah, good alley-oop. Yeah. Everything was good except they didn't finish it. 
Count the basket. So, so Montverde starts this fourth quarter without Caleb Houston and without Ryan Nimhart on the floor. So Houston ends up with 12 points in that quarter. Easy miss inside from oh, the big man. Oh my goodness, man. two, two Thompson of them in there. Got his own rebound, missed again. In the corner, that's Williams for three. No, it's off the mark. Rebounded, strong by Love, blocked by Thompson. We've got a foul, I believe, on Langston Love. And Caleb Houston's gonna come back into the game. It, it was just a matter of time. Offense just looks lost without him. Foul called on Love, his second. Love has 16 points in this game so far. Timeout called, I believe. Yeah, there. Timeout. By Coach Holmes. Hard to tell. <laughs> Timeouts, fouls, technicals. I don't know what's going on. Still another conversation with right. the officials, by the officials. Akpara out front, guarded by Shafino. Not happy with the hand checks, and now he's pushing off. Pierce out front, gets a pick from Iwachukwu. Inside now, nice, nice job getting his defender nice. off the floor and lays it in off the glass. Good job by Fears going inside amongst the tall trees. 49-37 now, Montverde. Caleb Houston back in the game, gets a pick. Loses it, however, good defense there. Nice hands by Fears. Houston wide open for three. Can't make it fall. Akpara over the back. Good call from the official, over the back of Renault. I thought so too, but he's, he's called it on uh, Thompson. Apparently he grabbed him. Renault's gonna go to the free throw line. La Lumiere now has Montbert in the bonus. They'll shoot free throws the rest of the way and he misses the front end of the one and one. That is acid indigestion for a basketball coach right there. Oh, when he's this, this is the front end of a one and one. Fears again goes inside. That's Starling, I'm sorry. Shafino comes out of the double team, gets it off to Williams, goes inside, lays it off the glass. No, but there is Renault to lay it in off the offensive glass. Renault's there to pack it in. Good offensive rebound. Nice job getting himself positioned in the lane. Fears goes inside, no shot. And Houston on the wing for three. He's short, follows his shot though. Banks it in off the glass from inside. Coach Holmes calls a timeout. His team down now by 16. Caleb Houston missed a three, followed his shot. Right? That's something that you and I were taught to do when we were young. You don't see that very often, but got rewarded for his effort, banked it in, and got two points. I was interested in the play before that down here under the... <laughs> 
the other basket when uh, there's a driving layup and everybody goes up for it and two or three players are on the floor <laughs> and going the other way and it looked like bowling pins laying down there. <laughs> Sixteen point lead for Montbird leads Coach Holmes to call a timeout. Montbird has answered that mini run by La Lumiere, opened their lead back up. five to go in this basketball game and if La Lumiere is going to make a comeback they better start now. This is a very critical possession coming out of that timeout. Pierce drives into the lane pulls up now outside to Starling. Thought he was going to go in there Mike and thought otherwise. Yeah they shut him off. Yeah, Starling beautiful drive lays it up off the glass no good and Caleb Houston with the rebound, and now Montbird with the ball, 14 point, 16 point lead, 439 to play. That was a big possession for La Lumiere right there. Oh, and Wilson, Williams. That's a good pick and roll. The pass yeah. didn't connect, though. Let him too much. No, let him too much. Renault did a nice job of rolling off of that, going towards the basket, as you said. Williams just a little bit too much heat on that pass. That's all, yeah. Good idea, though. I feel certain Coach Boyle had that plan coming out of that timeout. Akpara now with the ball, trying to get it into Iwuchuku. Does so. No shot. And they call a foul on the floor. And that might put Iwuchuku at the line with the one and one. Yeah, it goes to one and one. it down, big man who's already hit a three tonight. Nice free throw. He's got eight. Scored two last night, so he's certainly upped his game here tonight. Second free throw, rattles around, no good. Houston with another rebound. Shafino, who has really handled most of the point guard here tonight, Ryan Nimhard spent a lot of time on the bench. I don't know if he's in the doghouse or if he's hurting. Williams drives inside, lays it off the glass. Nice drive, nice layup right there from Justice Williams. Biggest lead of the night now for Montverde, up 18. Akara looking for somebody to move. Inside to the big man, stolen away by Renault. Gets it out to Shafino. Bad inlet pass right there. Stolen away by Montbird. Now you've got Shafino in the front. Caleb Houston out front. Iwuchukwu comes out of the, for the defense. Shafino loses it. Yeah. Taken away by Iwuchukwu who goes to list. <laughs> And he's fouled by Shafino. Probably a good foul there by Shafino. Iwuchukwu had a breakaway. How many times have we seen that happen, though? We get the turnover by the same player that goes down and ends up fouling. But I agree, it's probably a good foul here. We'll see. That situation, but you're right. I mean, because the frustration they do, they compound their, their mistake with another mistake. Iwuchiku again, good from the free throw line. Very solid basketball game tonight from that young man. Second free throw, good again. Four for four from the line on the last two possessions for the big man. Uh, 
Now we've got a foul called on Starling. Or I'm sorry, that's on Fears. Fears, of course, Fears. disagrees. I've never seen a player commit a foul anymore these days where he didn't didn't complain. <laughs> he said, that wasn't me. No, I didn't do it. And, and Mike, I'm sure you were the same way. When I played high school, if you committed a foul, you had to raise your hand. Raise your hand, yes. Yeah. That was and, me. and if you, I mean, you even looked at the referee wrong, it was a technical foul. Totally different. Yeah. <laughs> Nimhard knocks down the free throw. That's his first point of the night, Mike, after scoring 19 last night. So, just uh, hasn't been on the floor as nearly as much as he was last night and not sure why. But uh, he hits both of his free throws and opens the lead back out to 17. And now he fouls. And uh, officials are getting a little ticky-tack now after letting them play most of this game. Now they're, they're starting to call little touch fouls, and that's going to send Fears to the line to shoot two. I think it's a one and one isn't it? Oh, it, yeah, good call. Missed the free throw, but we've got a Lane violation, I think, there on number two, Duran. Not sure how this guy out here I'm sees that. I'm just thinking the same thing, Bruce. The guy underneath who's designed for that call what doesn't see it. So I, I don't, yeah. You're going to let him shoot another one. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, I, did, I don't understand how. Uh -huh. The guy right in front of him doesn't make the call, and the guy way out front does. So. Yeah. Second free throw now for Fears. Right through. It's a 15 point lead now for Montbird inside three minutes to go. And that one rolls underneath the scorer's table and they can't find the ball. There, it's back out. <laughs> Athletic director Cole from uh, Montbird Academy comes up with that one, saves the day. Nimhard. Wow. <laughs> How is that not a foul? Out I don't front. know. Big three from Whitehead right there. <laughs> Fears just mauled Nimbar, no call, and a touch foul on the other end. It oh, my goodness. Makes no sense. No sense at all. But uh, regardless, 18 point lead now for Montbird. Uwuchukwu again pulls up for three. Nimbard with the rebound. Approaching the two minute mark. Nimbard calls the play. Gets it across the timeline, barely. Barely. Whitehead thought about pulling again. Nimhard now pulls up for three, and he nails it. Two threes in a row, and we've opened up a 21-point lead now for Montbird. And I that think looked real good. Squared yeah. up, set his feet. Nothing but the bottom. Excellent analysis right there. I mean, that is textbook three-point shooting right there. Good pass, set him up nicely, stepping into the shot and just nailed it. There they try to go inside to Iwuchukwu. He fumbles it away. Montbird with the rebound. I think I hear, Mike, I'm not sure, but I think I hear, I think I hear the fat lady. <laughs> Somebody's lighting a cigar. <laughs> yeah, that red hour, right? Good call there. Well, you, old, only old guys like me and you will remember that one. Akparo in the corner. Oh my goodness. Throws it away, but it's recovered by Fears. Fears says, you know what? I'm pulling up for three and I'm going to make it. And timeout. Yeah. 18 point lead with a minute three to go. And Coach Holmes calls a timeout. Can you explain that to me, Bruce? <laughs> I, I can't. I mean, I guess it's, you know, a Coach going to take a teaching moment, teaching opportunity, and and I guess the other thing he wants to teach his players is you never give up, you know. Even though you're down 18 with a minute to go, we're going to call a timeout and we're going to talk about this miraculous comeback we're about to make. So, you know, he, he's not the only coach that does it. They all seem to do it. It's probably in that book that we always hear about, you know. He's coaching by the book. I'll tell you what, a 
been proud to bring you these last six games on Baller TV. Uh, tomorrow, another network will be covering the games here from Montverde Academy. Uh, but we will return again next Thursday for three more games here from the Montverde Academy Annual Invitational Tournament. They just called time out to set up their full court press. Montverde breaks the press. Love back in the game. He's been on the bench for a while. I think Coach Bull anticipated that press, so he's got his ball handlers in there. Whitehead thinks about going inside. Back out to Nimhard. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Nimhard's fouled out front before the shot on the floor, but I believe he'll shoot two because I think now Montverde in the double bonus. So Thompson's fouled out of the game. Yes, sure has. Played pretty well tonight. Big young man. Nimhart at the line now. First points came at the free throw line just a couple of minutes ago. He's got five now. He's got a chance to get it to seven here. He can hit his free ones. Oh, nope. They're going to put Duran on the line. Oh, my goodness. Not sure how that happened, but uh, pretty sure that was Nimbard that was driving when he was yeah. fouled. So, oh, he banks it in. How about that one, huh, <laughs> Mike? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard him there's, call that. There's yet another one, something I haven't <laughs> witnessed in a while. <laughs> I think he called it. He called back. Did he? Yeah. I'm From the sure. free throw line. Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, he almost does it again. <laughs> Off the back of the rim, no good. 30 seconds to go here. Spears brings it down the floor. Tries to get it inside. This is back out. Iwuchuku jacks up a three and knocks it down. Wow, I thought his foot was on the line, but it doesn't make any difference. There's your seven-footer shooting a three. And he's got 13 points tonight. Much better night tonight. So Andrew Nimhard's going to run out the clock. Your final score, 64, Montverde, La Lumiere with 48. 16-point victory for Montverde. They led only by two at halftime, but they opened it up here in the second half. We will be back next Thursday on Baller TV with three games here from the Montverde Academy Invitational Tournament. I hope you folks have a great week. Thank you for watching, and we'll return on Baller TV with more live action. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.